self-described architect of Obamacare facing off right now with House Republicans on Capitol Hill. You might not know his name. It's Jonathan Gruber. But you may remember the controversy after the MIT economist thanked the, quote, stupidity of the American voter for leading to the passage of the president's signature piece of legislation. Listen. What if we instead just levied a 40 percent tax on the insurance companies that sell these terrible, expensive Cadillac plans? We said, well, that's pretty much the same thing. But why does it matter? I said, you'll see. And they were both in that past. The American voter is too stupid to understand the difference. <laughs> Lack of transparency is a huge political advantage. And basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. But basically, that was really, really critical to getting the thing to pass. Well, some Republicans believe those comments could actually help in their ongoing fight to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Our senior Washington correspondent, Joe Johns, is live in Washington with the latest. Big headline already this morning, right, John? Joe? Yeah, I think so, Poppy. Uh, the, the headline is that he basically uh, issued a mea culpa, apologizing over and over again. Look, Jonathan Gruber is in just about the worst position imaginable for a witness before a congressional committee. Republicans are seeking to make hay over his comments. Democrats are just absolutely furious about what he was caught on video saying. So uh, let's listen to a little bit of what he said and then come back and talk about it. I'd like to begin by apologizing sincerely for the offending comments that I've made. In some cases, I made uninformed and glib comments about the political process behind health care reform. I'm not an expert on politics, and my tone implied I was, which is wrong. In other cases, I simply made mean and insulting comments which are uncalled for in any context. I sincerely apologize for conjecturing with the tone of expertise and for doing so in such a disparaging fashion. It's never appropriate to make oneself seem more important or smarter by demeaning others. I knew better. I know better. I'm embarrassed and I'm sorry. The inside baseball on this, Poppy, is there is some bad blood between Democrats and Jonathan Gruber right now, so much so that the Department of Health and Human Services didn't even want him appearing on that panel with the top administrator for Medicare. But he is there and he is testifying and Republicans are trying to make the best of it. Poppy. But I wonder, uh, Joe, is this for show or is this real in terms of trying to be utilized by Republicans, real momentum to try to change the health care law or, or repeal it altogether? I think Republicans would say this is real because, um, uh, among other things, they've raised concerns about the way the numbers of people who are actually in the ACA are being tabulated. They say about 400,000 people were pushed into the pot who actually got dental care, not medical care, and that that's not right. Marilyn Taverner said uh, this is just a mistake and they won't do it again. But Republicans point to this as a bigger problem of a lack of transparency uh, in the program, uh, which they say uh, Jonathan Gruber actually was very truthful about mm. when he first made those remarks on video. 